I've been coming up with a lot of Fenty dupe for you guys. As you can tell, I love Fenty Beauty, Rihanna. You guys, you are a blessing to us. Um, everything you've done and do and continue to do is amazing. So I support Fenty and I just want to give you guys something that is affordable and still be bomb and beat for it, okay? It's just bomb. But I still recommend you guys to buy the Fenty products. They are amazing and they are worth the money. So don't think that like, oh, you know, I'm just buying it for a name brand. Like, no, this is a brand that is worth it in purchasing and you're going to love it. Let's get into the, the dupes, okay? I have two Fenty dupes for you guys today. Um, one of them is like, they're all, let me just tell you guys this, um, all these products that I have today, they are all drugstore or like a, I guess drugstore is like for like the beauty supply store too, but these are all drugstore products. These products are under $5, okay? So they're really, really good and they won't break your bank, okay? So one of them I want to talk about is the uh, LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow and this is in the shade Sunshine. That's what the product looks like. This is an eyeshadow, but like anything, there's no rules to makeup. So we can use this as a highlighter. This is one particular dupe that I feel like is very close to the Fenty highlighter. When I wore this, as a highlighter everybody thought that i was wearing the fenty one time i told them no i was not wearing the fenty the next time somebody asked me i lied and i said it's the fenty because if it's believable shit, no one's gonna know no one no one has to know your secret okay you gotta fake it till you make it that's how i feel so this i think you guys would definitely agree that this is a dupe for the fenty uh trophy wife highlighter so this one is by NK Makeup uh, Perfection Highlighter, and this is in the shade 24K Gold. Um, basically, this is a dupe. Also, I wore this one time in particular, and I got a lot of compliments on this. And a lot of people thought that it was Fenty. This is what it looks like. I've used the hell out of it, so it's kind of messy now. It's a little bit messy, but... Um, this is a really good highlighter. Um, I bought this at the drugstore. Um, not the drugstore, but the, I bought this at the beauty supply store. And it costs, I think I paid $2.99, $3.99. So it's really, really affordable. Um, I'll leave all the links to the products down below in the description box. So um, let's get into these swatches. I'm going to be showing you guys what it looks like in this lighting. And I'm going to show you it in natural lighting so you guys can see... Uh, how well it, it looks on the skin and on you know just you know you guys know the drill so before we get into the swatches I need you guys to hit that subscribe button and I need you guys to like this video because I'm giving you guys all the secrets all the things that people don't tell you about you know just come on hit that like button subscribe come on join the fam come on we're gonna be shining together goddesses okay so let's start off with the uh nk perfection highlighter and like i said this is in the shade uh 24k gold so we're just gonna swatch it first and the only thing i will say about this highlighter is that you have to use a particular brush for this because it will not come up on your skin uh but i noticed that if you like use like a light maybe like a even like an eyeshadow brush and apply it to the skin, it's really, really good. So just a, just a, you know, general idea of how it will go on the skin. And the only thing about this one is that you kind of have to use a little bit of, you gotta be patient. It's really, 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 really good. It's just that it requires a lot of work. That's all I gotta say about this highlighter. But look at it on my finger. You guys can see already, like, it's really, really, like, it's a yellow pigment. And a lot of people did not like the Fenty because, the Trophy Wife, because it was too glittery. So I think this is a good one if you don't like 
a straight shimmer on your face and you want a true pigmentation of a, like a yellow or something, this will be really, really nice. As y'all can tell, there's no pigment to it. Like zero. No pigment onto the skin. It looks like chalk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray, use like something cheap, you guys can use whatever you want. But I'm just gonna tell you guys that with this product, you're gonna need some type of setting spray to kind of bring it that oomph it needs. So I'm just gonna spray my finger and we're just gonna swatch it. Okay, so you guys can see a little bit, it's a little wet, but you guys can see the pigmentation to it. I'm gonna show you guys in the natural lighting and so you guys can see an idea of how it looks. So it does require a lot of work. That's all I gotta say about that. For the uh, Nika K highlighter, requires a lot of work. Okay, so let's get into the other um, highlighter. So we're gonna swatch this one. Be careful, cause it is a loose eyeshadow, so you don't wanna get it all over you, so be very careful. It's really yellow, so if you don't like too much yellow, then you may not like this, but I, when I first bought it, I already knew that it was gonna be a Fenty dupe. And guys, this is a dollar. I got it at the Dollar Tree, okay? Dollar Tree General, the cheapest trophy wipe dupe. This is the Nika K uh, highlighter, and this is the LA Colors highlighter. As y'all can already see, it's very pigmented, guys. Very, very pigmented. For the sake of the video, um, I'm gonna swatch the Fenty trophy wipe so you guys can see it against all the colors. The trophy wipe matches very well with all the colors. The only one that's Really, the least most is the Nika K, but it's pretty, pretty close. Let's do the application process. So I'm gonna put, um, I think I'm gonna do the LA Colors on this side, and then I'm gonna be doing the Nika K on this side. I'm gonna be using this uh, highlighting brush. Um, I like to use this brush a little bit now to do um, highlighting, so I'm gonna use this for the LA Colors. And guys, this is with no setting spray. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Like with no effort. Y'all see that? And that's the LA Colors one. Like, this is not the trophy wife. Like, y'all see this? This glow? It's so bomb. Like, so bomb. And you guys know how much the trophy wife highlighter costs. It costs $34. And this is only a dollar, guys. You guys better go to your local Dollar Tree General and go get you this LA Colors, okay? Now I'm gonna be doing the Nika K on the other side. I'm using this eyeshadow brush because I think this kind of helps. The big brush kind of doesn't do anything, pick up any products. So we're gonna try doing it on the other side for the Nika K. So it's kind of picking up. Like I said, with this one, you, you're gonna need a little bit of help. Like, it takes a lot for this product to pick up, but it's definitely worth a pickup. Hey, it's $3 at the most, so why not? So this was without any setting spray. And look at that, guys. That looks really good. But I think, on all honesty, I think that the LA Colors wins because look at that. It's so pretty. And the thing about the LA Colors, it's not like, sh like glittery, like the Fenty Beauty one, the Trophy Wife. This one is straight like glow. 
you know what I mean? Just glow. Which I think a lot of people will be satisfied about if you get to choose the LA colors. I'm going to show you guys how it looks uh, with setting spray. Let's go on with the setting spray. I like to spray my face. Kind of fan myself for a little bit and then I go in with a little bit more product of the highlighter and look at that guys this is what setting spray bomb so I'm gonna put some on my nose as y'all can tell I like the LA colors it's fire Cupid's bow. I'm gonna put some setting spray on this, just a little bit. Not much of a difference, but it kind of helps. Sorry guys, it's not blended out perfectly. I just wanted to show you guys for the sake of the video how it looks on application. So it's not gonna be perfect, guys, but you you guys can see the results. That's all that matters. All right, so don't come for me in the comments. Okay, so we have reached the end of this video. Uh, let me know in the comments which one you guys like better. Do you guys like the LA Colors highlighter or do you guys like the Nika K highlighter? Which one wins? I wanna know what do you guys think about these products and would you guys potentially go out and actually pay your coins with this? okay with these products so let me know in the comments below and if you really like this video give this video a thumbs up and i hope i can see you guys soon so subscribe turn on your post notifications all right guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys baby don't tell me no